welcome to RPG Community College. Today I'm going to talk about how I plan on making money in Path of Exile's upcoming league, the Metamorph League. We're about a week away and I'm super excited for it. And I've been sitting here scheming on how to best take advantage of the market so that I can fund my builds. And this whole guide is basically just going to be a lot of looking at the past to try and predict the future. But anyone who's ever done this in Path of Exile before knows that there's there's some pretty reliable ways of making currency early on that really haven't changed much over the, uh, the past couple of years. And if we look at GGG's recent kind of philosoph philosophy behind buffing builds and... Well, not really builds, like ar archetypes. They've, for like the past couple of years, they've been doing that and they've been making certain archetypes really, really strong. And this league is going to be the bow archetype. And they've released a lot of teasers for all these new bows, for the new bow skills, the new support gems for the bow skills, and like rework skills, and they all look really, really strong. Everyone's super excited to play them. So we can use this information to our advantage and farm items that all these bow users are going to be needing. There's actually quite a few ways that we can do this early. And the first thing I'll talk about is div cards. There is a div card called the Lion, and this drops off of the Dishonored Queen in Act 6 in the Mudflats area. So you can farm this div card at like level 40, 45, right after you kill Katava. And early on in the league it sells, in past leagues anyways, it's sold for 1 or 2 chaos. But it's going to be worth a, a lot more money this league because you have a chance to get the Lion Eyes Glare, which is a bow that probably thousands of people are putting into their path of buildings right now trying to, uh, trying to decide what they're going to be playing at league start. It's just a very strong, kind of easily accessible bow that you'll see in a lot of builds. And I think this item actually is pretty rare, but due to bow builds just kind of not being meta or that popular, the item's been pretty cheap in the past leagues, and I think people are going to be really surprised at how expensive this item can get. You also have a chance of getting the Lion Eyes Fall jewel, and this is a jewel that's always worth multiple exalts. It's going to be worth a fortune in this league. Like if you're able to get your hands on one of these early, you pretty much just funded your entire league's worth of builds from this one item. This is one of those items that you definitely want to hold on to and f until people have some real currency so that they can pay you a fortune for it. And the card it actually isn't even that rare. Because you, you also have a chance to get other items, like uh, the Lion Eyes chest piece and the shield, which is not that good. I mean, they're alright, you can make like some chaos on them early, but they're really not that great. They, they are used in some builds though. And then you have the boots, which are just vendor trash. They're Alk shards, basically. Which is what you're going to get most of the time from these cards. But I was able to farm about 8 of these in 1 hour, and I was on a level 75 character. So I did have a penalty to my currency drops. I think it's like 100% less currency you get when you're like way over leveled in the campaign zones. I know it's a small sample size, but if you look like elsewhere where people have been talking about doing this strategy, people have been able to farm like four, well they claim to have farmed like four sets in an hour. So it's not too far off. And I definitely think it's going to be faster to farm this card and sell them to get a tabula than it is to just going to be farming humilities and blood aqueducts. So if you want to take an hour of your time out of leveling and farm this card, you're going to make a nice chunk of chaos day one. The other div card I want to talk about is Imperial Legacy. This card drops in desert tile sets and maps, or the Oasis in Act 9, the area right before you fight Shikari. And this, this just gives you a 6 link Imperial Bow. This is going to be another highly sought after item. Everyone loves 6 links and, you know, incoming bow meta. This is probably going to be a nice area to farm instead of the Blood Aqueducts early on because of this card. And it also has more monsters, so you're able to get more chances of drops and faster experience. So you'll be able to get into maps faster if, you know, that's your thing. And personally, like when I'm farming Humilities, I'll get like one, maybe two an hour. With this card, I was able to get four an hour. And, and they sell for about just as much as Humilities do at League Start. And I can actually see this card going up to like 3 or 4 chaos depending on the price of exalts because it, it's definitely going to be in demand this league. And you might even want to factor this into 
what kind of zone in the atlas you plan on farming. In the Desert Oasis map, I'm pretty sure is the map that has the most monster, more monsters in it than any other map. So that's something to keep in mind. The next thing I'm going to suggest is actually a tried and true uh, method of getting currency. I mean, like every like currency generating thing guide out there on YouTube probably mentions this, but it's doing prophecy. There is a reason why it's mentioned so often. It's because it, it really works. Like, day two of the league, you can buy 60 silver coins for 10 chaos. I guarantee you, you will make your money back. And then some. Most of the prophecies you can do while you're mapping. And the last leg prophecies for, like, the metacrafting mods sell for a decent amount. I think the Unbreathing Queen, when I was looking on POE Ninja, goes for, like, 12 to 15 chaos. Like, early league. That's not bad. And you can even buy, like, the third or fourth chain in the prophecy for cheaper and then just spam silver coins until you hit the fifth one, and then sell it for a profit. And then there's also things like Twice Enchanted, uh, Master Seek's Help. And then, since this is a bow meta league as well, there's a lot of really good prophecies to upgrade bow uniques. People are definitely going to be wanting Doom Fletch Prisms. So, yep, prophecy, always profitable. And it might even be a little bit more profitable this league, because a lot of bows are attained through prophecy. And this next thing that you can do is probably the most profitable thing that you could do in the beginning of the league. And that is going to be spending all of your chaos. As counterproductive as that sounds, just hear me out. You don't just want to spend your chaos on anything. No matter how many Veil of the Knights you buy, it's not going to make the item good. But if we come over here to POE Ninja, I mean, you look at the prices of other currency the first week of the league, like pretty much the only currency that loses its value is Chaos Orbs. And there's a few reasons for this. Um, the biggest one, obviously, is because people don't use Chaos Orbs, and many, and a lot of them are coming into the market because people, that's like the main trading currency. It's what everybody sells things for, so people hoard them, and they try to you know, get as many as possible in the beginning of the league, and they're actually really easy to get. They drop often, and you can do the chaos recipe, which many people do. So you have this massive influx of chaos orbs in the beginning of the league. So it devalues them heavily. This is why at the beginning of the league, if you're not buying an item with your chaos orbs, buy some other form of currency with them. Like you can see here, just look at fusing orbs for example. Day, I think this is day two, you could have bought six fusing orbs for one chaos. Two days later, you could have sold those fusing orbs three to one chaos. You literally would have doubled your money, and you didn't even have to do anything. You could have bought all those fusing orbs, logged off, came back two days later, and still made money. For all you poor souls out there who actually have a life, you know, like got a job, kids, a wife, things like that, this strategy is probably the best one you could do. And this doesn't just work with fusing orbs. You can go on POV Ninja and look at all the other different currencies. This obviously works the best with exalts because because a lot of people have a hard time getting like 30 or 40 chaos on day one so they can buy an exalt. But if you manage to do that, like say farming div cards in Act 6 in the mud flats, you know in two or three days time you would have a lot of chaos on your hands. And we can take a look at like orbs of alteration, alchemy orbs, hell, even chromatic orbs. You could put all of your chaos into chromatic orbs and you're going to make money. You don't have to play 16 hours a day or till your eyes bleed. While that's obviously going to help, there are still ways for people to play the game just a normal amount and still make enough money to fund whatever build you might have in mind. Within reason, of course. And for my last tip, I'm going to leave you with a simple one, and that's pretty much just pick a good build to start off with. Something low budget and something that can map off of like a four link. If your build needs a tabula in order to function and start mapping, it's probably not a good idea to league start with that. It's just going to slow you down, and the slower you are, the slower you're going to get currency. So the cheaper and more efficient that your starter build is, the bet the richer you're going to be. I do have some builds here on the channel that absolutely fit those qualifications. 
the last three builds that I played during Blight League are all incredibly low budget. You can start mapping as soon as you kill Katava. No tabula required. But it's kind of hard to recommend builds before the patch notes come out, because they all these builds, who knows, like they could all get murdered. I'll even leave a Grim Tools link in the description for the build that I've been playing in this video, which is an Ellie Hit Miner. If this build doesn't get nerfed, that's what I'm playing in the league for my league starter. And this build is actually broken. But that's going to be all for this video. If you would like to continue your education, I'm happy to inform you that enrollment here is free. All you have to do is like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I wish you the best of luck in all of your endeavors, and I hope to see you again soon.